Hi, Simon here from Hobby King. And today I've got to show you the Airbow FPV drone with augmented reality. Now this is the first augmented reality FPV drone system we've actually come through the office here. I'll talk a little bit later about that, but first I'll just run through some of the specs of the drone. It's a 280 millimeter wheelbase on this that weighs in at 570 grams, so it's really nice and light. It gets powered by a 5200 milliamp hour 7.2 smart battery which just slides into the back here and the flight time runs at about 18 minutes of flight time. In the front here you can see the FPV camera along the side is the little SD card slot so you can put an SD card there it supports up to 64 gig. Underneath you can see the navigational lights so that's good for giving indication of whether it's got GPS or not also doubles up as um, navigational lights so you can orientate yourself in the air. Now the flight modes that this comes with um, it does have uh, manual mode, uh, a GPS mode, a motion mode which is like a sports mode and then um, a circle mode which um, you know, does circles around a point of interest. It's really easy to fly this, it's super stable, it runs in the um, GPS and GLONASS systems and the radio has the centralized sticks which you'll find on some of the camera ships now so if you get into trouble you can just let go of those sticks and it'll just sit in the air. Really good for beginners and just general flying around, it's a nice safe system to have. So we're just down here at the field with the uh, Walkira Airbow and we're just about to do some, um, some field testing, which is just the action part of the daily. Uh, we've got it connected up to uh, an iPhone, uh, we've got a video feed here and um, see how it goes. So the first test I'm just going to do here is I'm just going to arm the motors and just put it on an automatic takeoff and uh, it should rise to about 3 metres high and just sort of sit in the air. So let's see how that just performs here. Uh, so we're just doing some line of sight at the moment, just going back and forth, just to see if it's um, behaving as it should, and it seems to be working really good, really nicely to fly, very stable, very easy to fly. We're just coming in the shade here because it's a little bit warm outside, but um, I've just got it in uh, circle fly mode, so it's just hovering around one point in the sky. It's doing about a five to 10 meter radius. Uh, you can set what radius is it on the app, um, and it seems to be performing quite well. So I'm just going to do a return to home and just to see how that performs. So I just hit the return to home button here. Now there's two apps that this craft uses. Um, the first one that we'll talk about is the Walkira drone app. Now this is available on iOS 7 and above. Now this is um, like your ground station. So you can do things like waypoint flying, um, circle mode, FPV flying of course. Uh, it will show you altitude, how many satellites you've got. Now the second app is the Airbow Go app, which is the augmented reality flying. So that has the uh, racing mode, uh, collection mode, and the battle mode. We're down here with the uh, Walkira Airbow again, and um, we're just putting it through some virtual reality race tracks and um, challenge modes where you can collect coins and go, go through gates and things like that. Um, so we're just about to try it out, and um, we'll see how it goes. It could be interesting. Just set up a, a racetrack here, um, and I'm actually just flying through a racetrack. So I'm just flying through all the gates. It's um, yeah, it's a ton of fun. Something a little bit different. It's actually pretty responsive in the air. Um, you know, you just sort of float around. You're not going at uh, great breakneck speeds or anything like that. But it's uh, it's fun. It's it's really cool. We're starting to see this integration with um, online gaming and real world. Uh, reality, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a hybrid of the both. So yeah, it's it's cool fun. So this is a bit like a, an old Crash Bandicoot game um, on PlayStation, where you actually just go around and, and collect all the coins. Uh, it's pretty pretty cool actually. It's something that's a little bit different. Um, just makes flying a little bit more enjoyable. You just fly around. Of course, you just got to have a fairly safe, wide open area. Uh, we just got this in battle mode now and it's actually a real ton of fun. Uh, the, the heads up display actually changes a little bit and you literally got to 
um, shoot some other quads out of the sky. So you can see them with little indicators and um, you pinpoint them on the little radar map and then you chase after them and shoot them out of the sky. It's, it's, it's actually really fun. So that's the virtual reality mode. Um, you know, it, it flies great just by itself as a normal a normal quad um, sort of FPV flyer. But with this virtual reality um, addition onto it, it's actually a ton of fun. I can see uh, I can see myself playing this for a few hours uh, at a time. As you can see from the footage, it does add another element to flying. Instead of just flying around, you actually have all these different apps, and I really actually enjoyed it. So. What also I want to mention about is the radio that this comes with. Now this is the Devo F8E radio. Now this has a 3000 milliamp battery built into it and with the included charger you can actually charge the battery and the radio at the same time. Now I'll just run through some of the features here. It does have the tablet and uh, mobile phone or smartphone holder and you can just, there's a little switch at the back there where you can actually just extend that up to hold a fairly big you know, iPad or something like that. And then there's the actual shelf where you can actually put your mobile phone in and just slide that down onto the phone. And the phone or tablet is really securely held into this mount. As I was mentioning before, with the different flight modes, this can be operated just by the radio if you didn't want to fly it via the app. There is the manual mode, um, the GPS mode, the motion mode, and the circle mode. When you do select these different modes, you actually just put it onto the different mode that you want to fly and then just tap the button and it'll go into that mode. There's also automatic takeoff, which is on that side, and then an automatic landing, which is on that side. The on off power button is just there. And then the return to home button is there. On the top there, you can see the video and photograph buttons. As I mentioned to you before, this is a centralized stick radio. Now it is um, switchable modes, so you can switch this from mode 1, 2, 3 or 4. So there's not a need for to buy it in your particular mode, um, it will cater for everybody. So what's included in the package? Of course you'll get the drone, uh, you'll get the Wakira F8E Devo radio, you get a 5200 milliamp battery, you'll also get two sets of propellers, the charger which actually does the the battery as well as the radio as I mentioned, um, a cable, USB cable to update firmware, a little toolkit and a really good instruction manual. So that's it for the Airbauer FPV drone. Please check it out. Um, the product will be listed down below in the video description. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Hobby King Live and until next time, see you later.